a typically disappointing Terrible Tunes Tuesday edition. Uh, the music, I mean. The rest of the show has been just fine. 866 Pit Lane, 866 748 5263 Atlanta Motor Speedway. Ed Clark will join us at the top of the hour to talk about repaving. Our driving topic question of the day right now What's your bold prediction for the 2017 NASCAR season? Lorena in Virginia. Hello, Reenie. Hi, Mr. Moody. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Well, you know what my prediction is, in case you'll lead, uh, win at least one race. At least one? Well, I don't think that's all that bold. You're not that far out on the limb. All right, let's go four then. Ah, well, you're, now you're just picking numbers to make me happy. To please you. Okay. All right, uh, I, I got to I, I gotta ask you a question. I read something on the Internet today, and I want to know exactly what this woman is up to. Uh -huh. And we know who, we know who we're talking about. I, I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, the T and the E. Does it make sense now? No. Teresa Earnhardt. Oh, her. Okay. Did you hear what she's going to do? No. She's going to the appellate court. She's gone after uh, Carrie again. Oh, the yeah. Appellate court. Oh, yeah. We knew that was going to happen. She didn't. She did not like the uh, the decision last time and promised to appeal. Um, what did I, she want? Yeah. Go ahead. Well, she... She, I don't think she's going to win. I, I think their their case is exactly the same as it was before. The judge looked at it last time and said, y you have nothing. Uh, and I don't think she'll have anything this time either. We'll see. I mean, what does she want these kids to do to change their names? I think that would make her happy, yes. Uh, and my next question, how was the wedding? I, I wasn't there. I don't know. I hear it was well, lovely. What you were. No, I wasn't. Uh, Chocolate was there. Oh, I, I, but... but, but it, Oh, tell me you didn't just mix me up with Chocolate Myers. No, 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 I didn't. Uh, uh, their, did, their, first, their first no, dance was called The Last Dance. My husband wants that played at his funeral. At his funeral? Yeah, Last Dance. Not wow. first dance, last dance. I don't want people dancing at my funeral. My husband does. He wants them to dance, drink, and have a hell of a good time. See, that's what I want, too. I want you know to just come together and uh, and tap a keg and uh, and have a good old time. Well, we've already told him that uh, we're just going to cut him up and put him in the burn barrel, and then we're going to party. Oh, Lorena! What? Well, it, a it's a felony, but B, I don't know. Hey, how can it be a felony? I, chopping somebody up and putting them in a burn barrel? How can it not be a felony? Because he's dead. I didn't kill him. He died a natural well, cause. I, I understand that, but you can't you can't just chop your dead husband up and put him in a burn barrel. Well, he told us to. Well, I, I'm sure he did. You do everything you're told? Well, I try to, but maybe, you know, if, no, I would not. Plus, he plus will, I, he I, will I, be cremated, okay? I, well, that's a different thing. That's perfectly legal, but I got to tell you. You know, the smell of barbecuing hubby in the burn barrel will probably put the kibosh on your party. I'm thinking it wouldn't be all that pleasant. Well, probably not. But what's not that like that? steaks cooking or anything. I think it's a whole different stench. And, and, and plus, I'm not a good cook anyway. Well, <laughs> I, I think in this particular instance, your culinary skills will be just fine. Oh, well, I'm not going to hurt him. You know better than that. I love him too much. Dump him in the fire. Well, like you said, he's already dead, right? That's right. He did. What, what difference is it going to make? It's not what him. It's the box he came in. Oh, right. uh, well, all right. I'll tell you what. I won't cut him up. I'll bury him in the backyard. Lorena, you're becoming one of our more interesting callers. I know. I got to go now. Goodbye. Bye. And by interesting, I mean cuckoo nutty. She's got to cut her husband up and put him in the burn barrel. I haven't killed anybody. Yet. You think the feds would care about that? Well, I didn't actually kill him. I just cut him up. Put him in a barrel and set him on fire. Still alive when I walked away. No, she said he was dead. Don't make it worse. It's already a felony, but don't make it like capital murder. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna cut him up and put him in the burn barrel and set him on fire, you got you gotta make sure he's fully dead first. You no, don't want to get you don't want to get the order mixed up. Ah, oh, damn it! I cut him up, put him in the barrel, and then killed him. Ah, no wonder it was such a struggle. No wonder he seemed so restless there in the middle of it. Oi, Jason in Alabama. Hello, Jason. 
Hey, Mr. Moody, you, that call just, I lost my train of thought completely. L- Lorena is uh, in a different yeah. orbit than many of us. Let's put it that way. Yes, sir. As you know, I live in Mobile, Alabama, and there isn't much here to do but drink. And uh, I own some bars here. And, and other than that, all you do is go to, to the Snowball Derby in Pensacola once a year. That's all there is. You know, okay. you've been here. Right. Anyway, that call just killed me. Uh, well, but I have the boldest. You're going to the top of the hour. I know the boldest yep. of boldest predictions. All right, lay it on me. The boldest of boldest. Before the Daytona 500 next this year, um, in the middle of the night in Chatsworth, Georgia, an 18 wheeler will smoke out of a driveway with a car that's a Ford body and a five horsepower Tecumseh go kart engine in it and jody ridley will win the daytona 500 because nascar doesn't know what they're looking at (laughs) jason's right apparently there is nothing to do in birmingham right now but drink and honestly i'm not going to dissuade him how was he thrown off by lorena's call then he follows up yeah he thought lorena was weird he thought lorena was weird and then, and then he comes on with a tractor trailer in the middle of the night with a Ford race car and a five horsepower Tecumseh lawnmower engine. All he did was reinforce my theory when a caller comes on and just makes fun of the previous caller and then one ups them in the stupidity. They're just trying to make themselves look better by comparison. Yes. Boy, that last person was an idiot. Wait till you hear what I'm going to say. That may have been. Between chopping up your dead husband, putting him in a burn barrel, and, and burning him at a party, and Jody Ridley winning the Daytona 500 with a lawnmower-powered stock car, I'm not sure that we've ever had two bigger nutcases call back-to-back in 14 years. No, that's a lie. They may well be a lie. I'm sure at some point we probably have, but but that that double right there, that double header right there, the Lorena and, and whatever the hell the last guy's name was. I don't even remember anymore. Anybody? Somebody? No, nobody. Jason? That's how quickly it went. That's how, that's how quickly it's gone. Like, people call and they say, Oh, you know who I root for, Dave? No, I don't. You Remember when I called you three and a half years ago and you said hi? No. So, I mean, I I, I would love to say that each and every one of you leaves an indelible stamp in my brain. But in in all honesty, with most of you, it's just a giant ink blot. You're a a jerk. Well, sorry. I, I, I can't remember everyone. I can't remember some guy that called in 2007... And, and and said some goofy thing that he figures I'll remember for the rest of my life. I, I'm sorry I don't. Case in point, I don't even remember the name of our last caller. And I don't think that's because I'm getting up there in years and Alzheimer's and is beginning to creep in. I don't think it's a memory issue with me. I think it's just a situation where I don't care to know. I don't care to remember because, honestly, I, I don't care to remember. Ed Clark, I remember him. He's coming up next. Sirius XM Speedway! I don't think there's any doubt about that. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, Channel 90. I haven't killed anybody.